the enzymes of the digestive system, thus break the polysaccharides, oligosaccharides, and disaccharides of our diet into monosaccharides, which can be absorbed into the enterocytes, the cells which line the small intestine, and from there are absorbed into the capillaries and are taken to the liver and from there throughout the body. Proteins in our diet are broken by enzymes into separate amino acids, and these amino acids are transported into the capillaries of the small intestine and are transported to the liver. Lipids can be emulsified and then digested in the GI tract. Shorter fatty acids, short chain fatty acids, are transported into the capillaries of the intestine and transported through the blood. The longer fatty acids are repackaged as triglycerides and put into chylomicrons, which are lipid protein balls. These are then transported into the lacteals, the lymphatic capillaries of the villi of the small intestines. And lymph will transport these chylomicrons eventually to the blood and these chylomicrons can gradually be degraded as they pass through capillaries. The nucleic acids DNA and RNA in our diet are degraded into nucleotides and these are broken into their components. The components of nucleotides, the nitrogenous bases, pentose sugars, and phosphates, are transported into the capillaries uh, of the small intestine and distributed to the body. The water from food, drink, and from digestive tract secretions can be reabsorbed mostly from the small intestine, about 8 liters a day, but also a little from the large intestine, just shy of a liter per day. The small intestine can also absorb electrolytes through active transport and vitamins as well.